Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, April 8th. Gunner, Sai, myself, we're checking in after quite a while. Um, figured I'd sort of start with some of the positives of what's going on as far as um, the healing journey. Um, I'm almost a month from explant surgery and it, the toxic breath that I apparently had leading up to surgery and then the toxic body odor that I had after surgery are both completely gone. So yay for that. Um, the neuropathy and fibromyalgia pain that I had for a very long time leading up to surgery um, is pretty much non-existent. I'm feeling a lot more relaxed, like my anxiety levels are down tremendously. I'm sure some of it's because the surgery's done, but I just, my body just feels like it's not trying to fight anything anymore. So um, I just feel more relaxed. That's allowing me to have much deeper, um, better quality sleep, which is great. So those are all um, really great things um, that are happening. As far as what I'm still struggling with, and a lot of it I think is just part of the detox process, is um, I still have the dry eye, dry skin, dry hair, um, a lot of double vision, especially after I've either been on my phone for a while or the computer, um, and then a lot of um, kind of the dizziness and falling over, and some of that I do believe is because my blood pressure um, and heart rate tend to keep running really, really low. So um, that's, I think, just kind of part of that. Um, the head hum deep within my like inner ear area is still constant. So I do think that my nervous system is still having a really tough time trying to kind of recalibrate itself. And um, still dealing with some of the chest discomfort as far as I like kind of some deep burning that happens. I believe that is um, probably the the um, the muscles, the implants were behind the muscles, so the muscles are kind of doing some healing as far as having those implants having been removed from them, and so I'm hoping that that's going to pass in time. Um, that's kind of it as far as the symptoms I can think of. Um, one of the biggest ones I'm dealing with is the overwhelming um, lack of motivation, kind of no zest for life, and just um, chronic fatigue. And I do really believe it's part of the healing uh, kind of crisis that I'm in right now. So what I wanted to explain on that with my particular journey is um, I kind of see everything having been sort of like a perfect storm leading up to where I'm at now. Where, where I, and, and where my reality is right now is my life as I knew it is gone. I... Um, used to be very active. I used to exercise regularly. Um, I was a, you know, personal trainer, health coach. I, I had a very active life and I am now pretty much bedridden. Um, a majority of the time I have uh, no motivation to even want to exercise, which is incredibly like, I don't even recognize that part of myself, but it's like, I have to actually force myself to get up and move and do things, um, right now because I just, am absolutely exhausted and have no desire to do much of anything. And I, I believe as I look back at my life, um, this was all sort of, it was going to come to this at some point. So start with a childhood of trauma. Then you go into adulthood that also had some trauma. Then you add um, the stress of everyday life, which is just stress. All of those things are going to tap on the adrenals of our body, which is part of the endocrine system, which is one of the systems in my body that has been malfunctioning for quite some time, as well as my autonomic system, and those two work together. So add all of that up. My stress response has always been working. Trauma, stress response. Everyday life and the stresses that go with that, stress response. Very active lifestyle, um, having to be on with clients, have, especially on days that I'm not feeling well because I'm chronically fatigued and have been ever since I had implants put in 28 years ago. 
that creates stress on the body because I'm having to push through even though I don't feel well. Stress on the body, stress response. Exercise, even though exercise is good for us, I tend to like to do more of the intense exercise, spinning classes, um, you know, interval training, pushing myself. That again, wakes up the stress response. So my adrenal system has been hit, my stress response has been hit for years over and over and over again, like my stress response is just constantly being tapped, always being pushed on. Then you add the fact that for 28 years straight, my body was housing toxic bags inside of me because I had implants and I didn't realize that they were doing the damage they were, but my body did. My body was trying to um, get them out which basically meant that my body was in a stress response 24 seven, even when I was sleeping, resting, meditating, no matter what, when the boobs were inside, my body did not shut down. It was still under stress. So all of that basically shut me down to the point where I hit a wall right before surgery, had to quit working, was basically incapacitated for about a month leading up to surgery. And then I basically, hit the final straw by putting my body through major surgery, which is hard on anyone, much less somebody who's already been fully depleted by all of the things that I just talked about. So now my body doesn't know what to do. Like it's basically done and it's really, really struggling. So I am spending most of my time in bed a lot of those days that I'm in bed, I can't watch TV. I can't read a book. I can't really do anything because anything stimulating is too stimulating and I can't take it. And really primarily a lot of the days that I'm stuck in bed, I'm staring into space because I have no energy or no drive or no ability to do anything more than just that. That is my reality right now. Um, a reminder that doctors did say, there were about four doctors at Mayo Clinic that said to me when I had suggested that I wanted to get my implants out, had said to me with all the things that I had going on and with as depleted as my body was and with all these system malfunctions that major surgery was not a good idea. I didn't feel like I had a choice, so I got the surgery, but that's why I am where I am and why my particular healing journey has become more of a healing crisis. So I am doing different things, trying to really help myself. Um, first and foremost, I am letting myself rest every chance I can. If I need to take a nap, I take a nap. A lot of times my naps are two hours and I am out. Um, so I'm just resting. I'm only doing what my body will, will allow me to do. I am forcing myself daily to get out and walk and be out in the goat yard a little bit because I need to keep moving, but at a bare minimum. And um, I'm just allowing for rest. I'm eating very healthy. I'm uh, drinking um, the, uh, the green drinks to try and really flood my body with vitamins and minerals. I'm uh, drinking a ton of water. I've done the um, fluid, IV fluids, which I think really helped to kind of flush my system. Um, uh, electrolytes. I'm just basically doing everything I can to take care of my body, and that's the best I can do. With all of that being said, the most important thing that literally is getting me through this is my faith. Honestly, I, there is no way that I would be able to be in this incredibly humbling experience without the help of God. Um, my life as I have known it is completely gone. And yes, I've dealt with a lot of trauma in my life and, and um, I'm strong and I can get through those things. And, and, you know, I am a fighter, but when you are, fighting for your life, it is a whole nother concept. And I couldn't do it without God. So on the days where I'm losing hope and I am, you know, find myself crying and in despair, I just pray and I call out and he will always send me some form of hope. 
whether it's a text from a fellow Christian uh, sharing um, advice on scripture, whether it's um, a, a day where I feel a little bit better and I see a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel, just something. He always gives me hope and that is the only way I'm getting through this. And, um, you know, one of my friends actually just recently said, um, it's kind of ironic that I'm going through this during the Lenten season. And since I'm a Christian, that does mean something to me as far as all the struggles that Jesus went through um, leading up to his death and then his resurrection. And it's kind of like, I'm going through the biggest struggle of my life right now, trying to fight my way back to health. And I feel him with me in it. And it's like we're carrying the cross together. I don't know how to explain that more than that. And he is helping me carry the cross. And it's like, I feel like that we're gonna get to the end together and I may have to let go of a lot of what has been important to me or what I once knew, die a little, so to speak. But I do feel like that on the other side, like that there's gonna be a resurrection and that there's gonna be a new me that's gonna be born through this. So that's what's helping me to stay positive and stay grounded and giving me hope. So, um, Anyway, for anyone who's following this journey, you know, just know that every journey is different. Um, and, you know, this is mine, but I do strongly believe that we all have to have faith in something bigger than ourselves, that we have to trust that, um, that we're going to be okay. And um, I can't stress it enough that if you don't have faith, this is the time to find it. This is the time to re dig deep and, and find a way to let go and let God. That is the only way I'm in peace with this right now. Um, I'm able to take every day as it comes. I'm not looking back to what I used to have. I'm not looking forward at what's to come. I'm just in what it is today. I'm grateful for every minute that I have. Um, I focus on when I'm having a good day, just the little things and that's carrying me through and I'm just going to keep doing that and and that's all I can do. So anyway, that's where I am. I know this is a really long one, but again, I haven't checked in in a while, so I had a lot to share. Um, I hope you guys have a great week, and we'll just keep checking in from time to time, and hopefully little by little, I'll be able to prove that the heal is real. But um, I do firmly believe that, even though I'm still very sick and really struggling. Um, it was the perfect storm. It was bound to happen, but um, I know I'm healing. I know I'm better than I was. It's just going to take me time to get back. All right. Bye, guys. Talk again later.